people. God wants to take us even with all our weaknesses. You think you're weak. You think you're in, in, unable to do it. But He He wants to take us, my friends, with these weaknesses and inabilities and transform us by working from the inside out and to do something powerful. Powerful in this earth because there is power in the name of Jesus and there is power in the Holy Spirit. And as we commit, we have to remember that we are partners with God. We have a part, and He has a part in everything He calls us to do. Praise God. Praise God for His word. Lord, hallelujah. This message on commitment requires a response from us. God is inviting you to be that person. All of us in this room wake up every morning for something. Some people wake up in the morning just to survive. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to eat? But you see, if it's survival, you're supposed to be in a third world nation. You don't have food. But that's not us. Some people wake up for success. What can I do to just have more, have more, and have more. But let's all wake up, not for survival or success, but let's all wake up in the morning for significance. Do you want to be significant? Do you want to make your life count? Do you want your years to count, not just counting the years? Then commit your life for the purposes of God in your life and it's never too late and you're never too old you're never too young you're never too poor you're never too strong or too weak God says if I he puts your holy his holy spirit in you the bible says I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength and the five things that are presented this morning which one of those that you need to commit that you need to commit in worship and expressing your love for God in gratefulness? Will you be expressive to other people of your love in fellowship? Will you commit your life to discipleship that you will grow more in the Lord? Or will you commit to, to serving in whatever capacity you can, not only in the walls of this church, but also others? Or probably serve Him in missions field. Amen. Hallelujah. I ask everyone to bow your heads and close your eyes in prayer. If you're here this morning, if the Lord had spoken to you, then raise your right hand. Pastor, there is something missing in my life. I need to commit to those things that are missing. Raise your right hand. Pastor, I think the Lord is telling me I need to go to church on a regular basis. Or probably, Lord, I need to be more expressive in my worship of God or probably I need to be more expressive of my love to other people some of you have been hurt and wounded and scared of relationships but you need to be healed from that some of you needs to be to be more open to other people raise your right hand if you're that person some of you need to know more you have this fear in your heart I'm afraid to talk because I might say the wrong thing or I'm not good enough. I don't know enough of the Bible. You know what? Your conversion is good enough.